最近頭の調子が悪い一日十六時間も寝ているからだろうか Tatsuhiro Sato is a college dropout with no social skills, anxiety, and depression. He's a neat, so this isn't surprising, but he spends most of his time surrounded by the same four walls of that apartment, drowning in his damaging, intrusive thoughts, keeping him from facing the outside world. If this description feels like an attack or something that you can relate to, then this might be an anime worth checking out for you. Because hidden within Welcome to the NHK lies a message that can save a generation of broken young people with loneliness on the rise. Generation Z. Hi, my name is Michael the Introvert, and I make introspective commentary videos exploring the deeper meanings of anime so that we can apply them to our lives and become the best versions of ourselves. If this is interesting to you, please like and subscribe. Notifications, blah blah blah. Back to the video. Anxiety is a feeling all too familiar to this generation. We see it cripple our protagonists throughout the series, making the most basic of tasks seem like an impossible feat. Why is everyone looking at me? Do I look stupid right now? Why is everyone laughing at me? I should just go back inside. Whether it's having panic attacks in public, avoiding social interactions altogether, or coping with dangerous addictions like video games, anime, or p Sato can never seem to claw himself away from his self destructive behaviors until one day. Little did he know that a simple knock on the door would change his life forever. For an anime released in 2006, it does very well at warning the generations to come, who will be prone to losing themselves in social media, streaming services, and other forms of digital entertainment, substituting real life meaningful interactions with parasocial online relationships. Feeling lonely? Well, what's my favorite streamer doing? I'll just tune into her for eight hours and give her all of my money. Feeling extra lonely? Yeah, don't ever do this, this is really bad for you. <laughs> With intense feelings of perpetual loneliness, we sink deeper and deeper into our parasocial, self loathing universes. But just as he reaches his breaking point, Misaki is the representation of hope and change for Sato, offering him a way out of his self destructive patterns of behavior because sometimes all you need is a reminder that you're not actually all alone. <laughs> Her words remind us that we're not alone in our struggles, but it's important to take action to getting out of our own individual ruts. We all need human connection, we all need support, and we should never be afraid to ask. Why not reach out to that friend and start a conversation? Why not ask that girl out across the hall? Who cares if it doesn't work out? A definite no is better than a lifelong list of what ifs. Because life is meant to be lived outside, and not in a bedroom behind a screen. What I love the most about NHK is that it's more than just a story of self pity and despair. I actually see it as a manual to self improvement and finding purpose. Eventually, Sato becomes more open to new experience, one step at a time, trying to apply for a job, attempting to write a novel, directing a video game with an old friend, and battling his previous addiction. Sato learns that life is not just about avoiding pain, but also finding joy and meaning. And the beauty of this is, Misaki can be anything or anyone, anything that inspires you, anyone that pushes you, any place that fills you with motivation. Cling to that and use it as a slingshot to the best version of yourself. I believe Welcome to the NHK speaks directly to the challenges we face as a generation whilst offering hope and inspiration. So if you're ever feeling lost, I highly recommend checking this anime out. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.